So in this video, we're going to have a look at um, viewing and creating charts um, and then changing the list views um, like the one that you see here within Dynamics for Sales. So first, um, which is probably the, the most visual, uh, which is easiest to start with, is to view information from the list that we have open um, as a chart. So what I'll do is I'll just click on show chart um, so that we can start having a look at this information. So there are a number of default charts within the system. Um, so we can see here that we've got top customers, um, particularly useful because if you click on any of the areas of the chart, um, it will show you all of the opportunities that may be associated to this customer. So just clicking on pros where um, we can see all of the uh, the opportunities uh, from our one opportunities that relate to that particular customer, which is which is fab. Um, there are a couple of other lists. Um, so actual revenue by month, for example, that's quite a nice one to see. Um, deals won versus deals lost, you know, you, you get the impression. Um, but what we can do is we can create a new chart from the list as well. And again, we're not going to go through the process of creating a chart, um, but it brings up a little bit of a wizard where you can choose what you want on each access. You can choose how you want it to display um, so you can create your own visual, anal uh, visual analysis there as well. OK, but I'm going to come back um, and I'm going to just hide the chart for the time being. And we're going to imagine now from our one opportunities, what we want to do is we want to do a bit of analysis um, on the actual close date versus the decision date. OK, so we could be concerned that actually, even though we may be getting confirmation of the sale, um, the actual close date of receiving the contract might be drifting. So we might want to tighten up on that a little bit and do a bit more of an analysis on that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Create View. I'm going to use a, a list that we've already got set up as, as my basis. So we're going to One Opportunities. And we can see here that we've got status equals one. That's that's the only element that's, that's going to make up this, this list. Um, but what we are going to do is we are going to edit the columns. So here we've got actual close date, but I'm going to add a column here um, that says, I think it's actual decision date or decision actual date. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Do, 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 do. Yeah, final decision date. Sorry, my mistake. There we go. So that'll add it. We can move it from left to right and we can configure sorting if we wanted to do sort of most recent to um, later dates. Um, but all I'm going to do is click on OK. I'm going to save that as a new list. So one opportunities, um, actual versus decision date. Um, and I'm going to save that. OK, come out of here. What we'll then find from the drop down list, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, is we've got my views, i.e. ones that we've created here. Um, so we've got one opportunities, actual versus decision date. So here we've got actual close date, final decisions date. We've not populated any of the final decision dates, so that's why we've not got any data there. But at least it gives you an impression of how to create that custom view there. Okay. What we can then do is we can export this information, i.e. mirroring this custom view that we've created to Excel. So I'm going to export to Excel there. I'm just going to click on the spreadsheet here. Um, it should open that up for us. There we go. Excellent. Um, and we can see that view, including that custom column that we've got. Um, and then we can do anything that we want in Excel because obviously it's a tool that we use quite regularly. Um, so if I wanted to say enter a column for the difference um, and start calculating the difference between that date and that date, then it's very easy to do and very quick as well. And you can see it only, only took me a few seconds to get that data out of Dynamics for Sale. So Forgive me for being cheesy, sky's the limit in terms of data, especially if you're using custom fields to track data that is specific to you as a business. Um, you can start building an impression for, for how powerful these tools can be. So what we're going to do next um, is we're going to actually start looking at um, dashboarding. Um, are you creating custom dashboards within Dynamics? So it may be that we've now got um, a few of these views. Um, it may be that we want to sort of combine some of these list views with some charts. Um, you know, with, within a home page. So what we'll do is we'll go back to dashboards and then we'll click on new Dynamics 365 dashboard and then it will give us a list of options for layout. So I'm just going to click a simple layout, which is equal, um, equal proportioned squares. I'm going to click on create. And again, similar to um, the wizard where it showed us how to create charts, um, we've got one that will show us how to create the dashboard. So we can give it a name and say just, for example, my dashboard. There we go. Um, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to just create um, a list view. So let's just say um, activities and then we'll just click my activities. So we'll add that to, to the home page. Um, then let's have a look at um, a visual analysis of that activity. Let's go into activities, um, my activities, let's say closed activities. 
actually maybe not, not a good example. Let's see whether we can do it for phone calls. All phone calls. Yeah, there we go. So maybe that you want to do a, a bit of analysis on how many phone calls have been made. Um, and then we'll bring in that list that we've just created from our, our opportunities. So we'll go into opportunities. Um, one opportunity is actual versus decision date. And then an associated chart. So uh, might be nice to have in that top um, top customers opportunities chart. So let's go into uh, one opportunities again. And then top customers to bring that into the home page. So it's taken me... No time at all to create a custom dashboard with data that's relevant to me. And all I've now got to do is click on save. So that's saved. I can now close off. It will refresh the home screen for me so that it reverts to my default dashboard. Um, and then we've got all of that information that we've just created there. Obviously, everything is still a hyperlink, so we can still use this dashboard to navigate to other areas of the system. Um, so a very useful tool. You can obviously have multiple dashboards. Um, so, you know, easy, easy enough to do without any sort of technical knowledge. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.